and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. It has been far too long since I've done one of these. My opponent in this upcoming match is Barnaby. He is ranked 23rd in his gold division with 843 points, 64 wins, and 50 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northeast up against Barnaby. He is the Red Protoss player in the Southwest. The map is Blistering Sands, and I am back. Yes, it has been, I believe, a week. And the reason that I was... I put it in my channel description that the reason that I was unable to broadcast is because I was unable to speak and I do mean that literally I had an ulcer on my tongue and whenever I tried to speak it caused me great pain <laughs> at, to the point of tears it was it was pretty bad the ulcer is still there it just doesn't hurt anymore but I can still feel it there uh, so yes, that that is the reason. Uh, not not fun at all. But I was able to get quite a few games in while I was high on pain medication and mouth numbing agent, which is all that they would give me. They don't know what caused it. That's the part that worries me the most. So I don't know if it'll come back. I sure hope not. Cause jeez, that was bad. Uh, so I w this is one of the games, um, I, I did mention that I was very excited about a few games. This was not one of the ones I had in mind, I'll be honest. Um, you'll know, you'll know when it's the games that I was very excited to talk about. This was just one of the first ones I played that day, and it was definitely an interesting strategy. Uh, we have a gateway coming up here, and what is this we have? He's, is he going for the rocks? No, he's going for a proxy pylon. Awesome. I swear, when it comes to Protoss players lately, at least what I've been playing Protoss players, I always seem to get the ones that want to do the proxy stuff. I don't, I don't get it. I've, you know, in my entire time that I've been playing StarCraft 2, I've maybe come across three Terran players that do something proxy. Um, Planetary Fortress one, and no, well, it, when it worked, a good proxy. Planetary Fortress Rush, or a uh, three racks proxy, and then that last one where I, I caught it early and I was able to, to get rid of that early. Uh, proxy barracks was also good. And the probe is now at the Zelnaga Tower. Can I actually see it? Which one am I? I am number two. And yes, I can. So I can definitely see this proxy pylon. I cannot see if there's anything here guarding it. If there's, you know, I, I can't see anything. I can't see if he's l getting people in. I don't know if he can actually warp things in here. I assume that he, you still need sight of this upper ground in order to warp units there. So I don't think you can warp units there without the observer out. Meanwhile, he is going for three gate, it looks like, and he has stopped production on probes. How many do you have? You have 14 probes on eight mineral patches. And now you have over an assimilator up that is not doing anything. Nobody's on that. Bad probe management early. That that probe actually, um, I, sorry I didn't catch that on camera, but it was kind of funny to me. Uh, Zelnaga Tower probe ran over here and got shot to death. I always find that funny because I hate probes. Because they proxy stuff. Luckily I was able to spot it early. Uh, but really, I mean, that's a that's bad placement. Placement. If he had put that there, I wouldn't have been able to see it, right? I put something here. Y he should know that I put something here because I always go because the the rocks are there. I, I should have something there to spot the rocks, so I should be able to see the pylon from there. 
But here we go. He is going for um, an early push here. I have no upgrades done, though. I was behind on my opener because, you know, in medication. What do you want me to say? So I focused on the sentry because I don't want a guardian shield up. I don't want a force field up. I don't want any of that. So I focused on the sentry. I cannot height anything because really I don't have the concussive shells. So, I mean, I could try, but it would be insanely hard. And I'm not... Uh, that skilled at it yet so I just held my ground there and I was able to hold it off these guys got a lot of kills yeah 750 resources as opposed to 250 so I'm up 500 resources already on him and once again getting a huge production line uh, he is just now getting more probes out and no chrono boost. He's almost full on that. I do believe you can chrono boost the warp gates and get the cooldown to go down, you know, to expire faster. That's just what I heard. I have not actually tried it because I don't play Protoss, but that's. I, re I remember that coming up a couple times that you can actually chrono boost the warp gates. So there's absolutely no reason to leave the energy on the nexus whatsoever and what he has no forge so he's not getting any sort of upgrades on anything these guys are all zero 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 no twilight council so these guys aren't going to be getting blink he's not going to be getting charge he's not getting hallucination which i've always wondered why that required well i guess i understand why it requires um a research because otherwise people would always 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 hallucinate a couple phoenix and then boom instant scout so he sees that i go for the push here and this is why i don't put the rally point out front like i should sometimes but not when i'm facing a protoss player because i do know that this is a pretty standard play from them is once they see my units go towards their base they rush into my base so I take out the expansion, there was you know, nothing there guarding it, so I'm going back to my base to counter this. He is able to take out the reactor, definitely. And is he going to be able to... No, he he kind of ignores the barracks, he's, he's done with that now. Um, combat shield and weapons level 1 upgrade is on the way, and here I do a bad job micrating my SCVs. What are they doing? What I should be doing? Because if I wanted to do that, just right-click on these mineral patches, and then they would go right through everybody. But instead, I put them out here, where not only are they liable to any kind of reinforcements, taking that out, um, and to take those two marauders, to take out the proxy pylon, and uh, lift off the orbital command. It is far too late. It is down. I am able to take out everything in his base. But I was able to get the expansion started. I do have enough minerals for that because I was behind on minerals and gas in this game once again. I just disappoint myself every time. It doesn't look like I'm producing anything else. Uh, no, it looks like I'm trying to get a reactor down. There it goes. So, reactor and still... I still need to be getting Marauders out. There we go. Marauders are on the way. And there we go. There went all my minerals. These guys went down there. They grabbed minerals and now they have no place to take them. I don't understand why you can't set up a little corner here. And be like, deposit your minerals right here. You know, while the building open during construction. No, you can't do that. So I'm moving in. With what's left of my forces, he still, of course, is producing, but he does not have a, a significant advantage over me because I still have the larger army and I'm taking out pylons. Boom, instantly one warp gate down. You can't rely on one pylon to power one of your warp gates because they can go down so easily. Look at that. Boom, two pylons down, instantly three warp gates down. Now I'm taking out the last one. Once again, no production out of him, nothing coming out of the Nexus. Full energy, and now I'm focusing down the robotics bay. Or sorry, robotics facility. 
just get those two confused. And I'm moving into his mirror lines, and then he leaves the game, and that's the game. So definitely interesting, definitely not the best game for me because, you know, losing the orbital command, not a highlight. Uh, letting those guys go inside my base, not taking out the proxy pylon immediately. I knew it was there, and I let it, uh, and I acted like I didn't, and he took advantage of that. So even though I was able to get that early scouting done, it all went for nothing because I avoided it. Stupid, stupid mistakes. But I was able to come back, uh, making sure not to panic when I when everybody was in my base. You know, just making sure that. He, I took out uh, the 400 minerals. I, I do believe it's 400 for Protoss. Let's do a quick double check. 400 minerals for Protoss on the Nexus. Took out the 400 there. And then I was able to make sure that he did not have an economic advantage over me. Then sent everybody back in um, to, t to, to wipe out the stalkers and zealots also a uh, bad play from him as you can see he's got a lot of gas if he had gotten just one or two sentries he could have blocked off his ramp and held me back for quite some time while he continued to pump out um, more units because he was still producing while I was not. He still has more harvesters than I do, thanks to that harass. These guys are getting minerals in for me, uh, but of course he has more production, or more income than I do, and therefore should have more production, but it doesn't look like he spent all that much. Uh, he spent more on the army, but I definitely spent a lot more on technology. And he lost so much more uh, due to bad micro and not being able to manage his troops that well so definitely some lessons learned in this game i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the game hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching